Like anything in life, there are lots of derailers that come into play. The first one is confusion about purpose and applying it superficially and then wondering why you're not getting anything coming out of it. People can see through superficial application of purpose. We're in a much more transparent world today. You can't wear purpose as a virtue cloak. You just cannot. People can simply see through that. So now the other piece of this is to realize that purpose decays over time. There's a decay function that happens naturally. As you said earlier, the founders may leave, you know, there's turnover in the organization, and you see that, and I saw that in some iconic companies, two that I, I document in the book. One is Johnson & Johnson. We teach the Tylenol case, the ultimate company with a credo from its founding days that's actually written on concrete outside their office headquarters. And look what happened. A decade of scandal after scandal. CEO having to apologize in front of the U.S. Congress. And then when they revive, their next CEO, Alex Gorski, said, we've got to re refresh our purpose, or what they called a credo challenge. Or a more contemporary example of this would be Boeing, and the response to the 737 MAX. That was not Boeing before. And so you see a lot of examples of companies that lose their way. And they somehow get convinced that purpose is just a side thing. It's a mission statement, a wallpaper. It's a tax on business. It's a PR exercise. It's an HR exercise. And many companies do that, but I think my hope, at least, is that through some of these examples, we will learn about how purpose unlocks performance.